My name is Wilbur Reed and I teach at Johnson University. I spent about 27 years in the corporate world and then came over to academia in 2015 uh, when we started up an MBA program. And so the MBA program was fully online. And uh, so I got introduced into Sakai when we started with the, uh, uh, the programs and setting up the classes. Uh, use it uh, regularly in online classes, business courses, and uh, so whether it's leadership courses or analytics, uh, finance, those type of courses are the ones that I use Sakai for. So one of the biggest challenges in an online course is getting students engaged, to get them to discuss the material and what they've read and some back and forth. And so the tendency tends to be just to answer the question. If you just ask them a question, and they'll answer the basics of the question, but they don't get into this back and forth discussion. We heard about this tool called Yellow Dig that allows the students to accumulate points. And so the more they post, the more points they get, and the professor can add accolades, uh, which are bonus points. So if you get a really good post, or you bring in external uh, sources, or use correct APA formatting, uh, so you can earn bonus points as you go. But one of the really interesting parts of it is that the students get basically free points when other people post on their discussion. And so the goal then is if you can put a discussion forum post in there that is early uh, in the process so that people have plenty of time to respond to it, but also that's interesting and engaging and prompts discussion, then you just get free points as everybody else adds on to it. And so the students then really focus on how can I create, how can I get other people to comment on my post? Uh, and so they put a little more thought into making it a discussion. And so we really like that idea. We brought that to our Sakai uh, guru and said, hey, we'd like to use this tool. And he said, no problem, I'll just add it in. What he was able to do is just take this external tool then and integrate it into Sakai so that the students don't even realize it's an external tool. And so to them, this is just, just part of Sakai. It's really worked well. It's, it's just integrated seamlessly in there and the students can use it. It works great for us. One of my favorite things about Sakai is the ability to bring in these external applications. And so to, to colleagues, I would say, you know, the, the limits of Sakai are only the limits of your imagination as far as, uh, and the tools that are out there, but, you know, being able to, to get in an additional tool and, and plug it in, whatever it is you need in the class, you can probably get it. There's probably somebody out there who has also had the same need and uh, has utilized that. So uh, I, I would say that uh, check into whatever it is that uh, you think you need and it'll probably work.